Third person games are probably my favorite type of game to play. Games like Crash Bandicoot started me on this path. Then I moved on to things like God of War, Star Wars Battlefront and The Force Unleashed, to the Arkham Trilogy and to, well, whatever's happened to them now. For a long time, these games were pretty great just to get to grips with. You don't have extra costumes or things like that to unlock in God of War. You just had more moves that you could unlock if you were good at killing things. Force Unleashed had the same principle. Extra moves you can unlock if you just play the game and are good enough to unlock them. And finally, the Arkham games did this tremendously, allowing you to unlock new abilities and gadgets, but also at the pace of the story, meaning you slowly build up to becoming all maxed out on moves and tech, and by the end you have so much at your disposal you feel unstoppable. Now, it's less like that. A lot of third-person games are basically interchangeable. Swap the main character out, the country or planet it's set on, and whatever weapons you have, and it boils down to the same stuff. You start out with crappy gear, and as you advance through the campaign you need to find resources to make better gear. Before long you're hunting down materials in a dingy cave at 3 in the morning because if you find just 2 more ounces of this stuff you can finally make a new crotch plate and you won't have to take so many fucking shots to the- <coughs> Excuse me. All third person games are now are resource hunting simulators and Ubisoft is by far the worst culprit. Assassin's Creed Valhalla dropped very recently and it's- it's just a palette swap of Odyssey. Seriously, it's not even funny. Even some of the hairstyles are the same, damn it! I could tell as soon as I started it up it was going to be another material farming grind with the same lock-on parry counter dodge combat, with the same doughy-eyed fake sympathetic yet simultaneously badass character, with the same climbing mechanics that render any tall mountain devoid of threat or intimidation, but hey, long as it looks pretty, right? Even God of War fell into this trap of resource management recreator 2018, but at least that game had a deeper combat system than most recent AAA third person games. And it didn't have a fucking stealth mechanic, thank Freya. The only developers doing third-person shit consistently well are, well, from software. Sure, their games are ball-crushingly difficult, it's kind of their shtick, but at least they have some vague recollection of the term originality. Each FromSoft adventure feels distinct with a totally new location, different combat mechanics, new enemies and new ways to advance your skills. Yeah, gameplay-wise they all feel quite similar, but you seriously can't tell me with a straight face that Dark Souls 3 plays the same as Bloodborne, or that Bloodborne plays the same as Sekiro. You literally can't. You can't. You're physically unable. Because I got your face right here! Ha <laughs> uh, Anyway, with these games I can feel the love, the passion, the drive to make something new, daring and great. With Valhalla, it's just odd to say with a dark green font, or Origins with sand swapped out for snow. Companies are so afraid to commit to making something bold, to really shake the tree, but instead they keep thumping their heads against the tree hoping for a ripe coconut to fall out. It's sad, but hey oh, this is certainly not the first time we're seeing it. And Ubisoft are definitely not the only ones guilty of it. But with Valhalla, I just can't take it seriously. It was a sad day when I actually had to face that fact. For Honor is a genuinely unique game with probably some of the best and most rewarding combat of any game I've ever played. Shame you're forced into collecting steel or buying packs of it to have any hope of staying prominent in the multiplayer. Oh, and the story just fucking sucks. Because who plays games for the story anymore, right? Overall, it just comes down to balls. Some developers have them, some don't, but many publishers are hesitant to play with them while sucking on the deck of... Damn it, I swear I was going somewhere with that metaphor. Most developers are scared of trying new things, even though the old things of making decent and somewhat original games is still an effective method of game development. Devs out there, I know you probably don't want to hear this, right? But it's got to be said, grow some balls. That way you won't have the piss taken out of you by basically every respectable game player out there for every attempt at a game you release. If FromSoft can release games that feel kind of similar to play yet simultaneously don't, with new combat systems, exotic worlds and the god-given grace of not having numbers in the title that slowly turn into subtitles so people don't get confused or realise just how fucking long most franchises are going on for, I'm sure you bigger ones that I won't name here but do rhyme with Boobycroft and Crack Division can afford to take some more risks. I won't hold out hope for gin and tonic farce though, I'm sure that shit has long since passed the bottom of the bowl.